I cannot believe that today we're already going to be talking about the 2024 Mattel Disney Cars Diecast Mainline, but somehow it's already that time of year again. Like to me, it still feels like we're just midway through 2023 or even like early 2023 because I still haven't found anything past case B from the year. So I don't know. My stores just suck, but whatever. Welcome on back to the Cars Garage, everyone. Even though I haven't found anything great from 2023, I'm still very excited that 2024 is upon us. Hopefully it will be a better year in terms of die cast collecting, um, but who knows? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we have a bunch of brand new reveals to talk about today. New cars that will be coming out for next year. We have, of course, new cars. We also have brand new Thailand variants, and we got just some regular good old-fashioned re-releases that are no different than the ones released before, uh, but I'd say that pretty much all of them are pretty nice. You know, we got a lot of ones in the package to talk about. Then we got this big long list of random cars <laughs> that only had the names revealed so far. So it'll be interesting to discern who some of them are because some of them we really have no idea. It's just a guessing game. So without any further ado, let's begin. Starting off with Lightning McQueen. Just a regular good old fashioned cars one version of him. He'll be back for 2024. By the way, the packaging won't be changing next year. It will remain the same Redder Riders packaging as I like to call it. Uh, same one introduced to us midway through 2023. Anyways, Tumbleweed Lightning McQueen will also be back next year. Nice variant of him. I think the last time he got released was probably 2019, so it's been a while. Then we have Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. This is a cool one. Brand new Thailand variant. I'll be happy to pick him up. Too bad he's not on the Radiator Springs background, though. Same with Tumbleweed McQueen. I don't know why they put him on the racetrack one, but they always do if it's McQueen. Oh, well. Anyways, Mater will be back next year. This is the one with his larger working tow hook, so pretty cool, I guess. Luigi and Guido will also be back next year. The classic duo of Italian friends. You know, can't go a year without Luigi and Guido. They will be new to Redder Riders. Then we have Fillmore also coming back. I feel like we've seen a lot of Fillmore recently, but whatever, he's back again. Sheriff will also be back. Snorefest. Then we have the King, Strip Weathers. He'll be back for his third year in a row. Kind of surprised by that, but whatever. Nice to see him. I love seeing the king. And I never find him on the pegs, so I guess that's good. He must sell well. Then we have Chick Hicks coming back. Too bad, though. Even though he is technically a new packaged variant, like the car is not any different, but the package is. First time on Redder Riders, but too bad that they screwed up the artwork yet again. And they're still using the Cars 3 artwork, but, you know, they're releasing the Cars 1 version of Chick. Very upsetting. I hate when they do that, but they don't seem to want to change, so whatever. Then we have five Piston Cup Racers from Cars 1, so this is pretty cool. Starting off with Manny Flywheel, the N2O Cola Racer. Pretty nice to see him back. Then we have Brush Kerber, the Fiber Fuel Racer. Love to see it. One of my favorite racers for sure. Love his countryness that he has on his design. Then we have Kevin Shiftright, the Clutch Aid Racer. I don't even have this guy at all, so this would be a nice pickup for me. Pretty cool to see him back. Then we have Holland Gas, who was just re-released in 2022, so pretty upsetting there. I don't know why he's back already, but whatever, the Retread Racer, of course. And then Kevin Racing Tire, this is a cool one. Always kind of a rarer Piston Cup Racer, so not bad to see him back. But none of these Piston Cup Racers are new variants, so kind of upsetting. And a lot of them were just released in 2020. Uh, Holland Gas, just 2022, so not even that long ago at all. But technically, I guess 2020 was four years ago now. Wow, it's hard to think about. <laughs> Now, what's unfortunate is we have zero Cars 2 releases, so, oh well, hopefully they'll release some. I'm sure they will very soon. Anyways, we got some Cars 3 releases, though. Rusty's Lightning McQueen will be coming back for 2024. Why? I don't know. Just released in 2021 and was an absolute monster bag warmer, but whatever. He's back. Jackson Storm, of course, the mandatory guy who's always released every year. He'll be back as well. Not the Piston Cup champion version, though, unfortunately. Rusty's Cruz Ramirez will also be back for 2024. Once again, why? Just released in 2022. Pretty darn boring re-release in my opinion, especially when there's so many other great variants of Cruz, like even just the regular one, which still hasn't been released from Thailand, but whatever. Heyday, Smokey will also be back for next year. Pretty cool. Love Smokey's model, and I love him as a character too. He's a very nice, but kind of like gruff and tough old truck uh, but I like that he's getting re-released again, especially in his heyday form, because this is probably the nicest version of him, where he looks all nice and new and clean and everything. This is him when he's actually, you know, Doc Hudson's crew chief back in the day in the 1950s. This leads me to believe we will be getting more of those retro Piston Cup racers next year. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't mind seeing them back. Some of my favorite cars to collect. Then we have Bill, 
the Pixar Ball Demolition Derby Racer. Pretty nice to see him back. He's a cool one. And then the Viewzine Racing Tractor will also be back for next year, which gives me some hope that maybe they'll uncancel the five racing tractors that they canceled back in 2020. Maybe. Who knows? That would be cool if they did. Um, but either way, this guy was first released and only ever released in 2021, so nice to see him back. Now, moving on to Cars on the Road re-releases. Yep, Cars on the Road re-releases in the main line, and they will no longer have their own packaging. Very unfortunate. I mean, it's only been a year. Feels like they could have just continued, especially if they're going to continue to Redder Riders packaging style. Then why would they stop the On the Road packaging style? I have no idea, uh, but whatever. Starting off with Road Trip Lightning McQueen. It's the 2023 variant of him with the new expression. I like it, but don't know why he's released again. He was quite the peg warmer in 2023 and still is to this very day in September now. Anyways, Randy, the Hirsch, which was just released in one of the most recent and last cases of 2023, is getting released again next year. Pretty cool, though. I like him a lot. Then we have Mallory Carhut, the ghost car from the Lights Out episode. So two cars from the Lights Out episode be coming back for 2024 which gives me hope that mattel plans on releasing this case a like if all these end up being in the case a like the first case of 2024 then i believe that maybe it'll end up being out around halloween time so that's pretty cool anyways then we have motto made her sister nice to see her back i hope she's not a hard character to get so it's nice that they're re-releasing her so early on then we have adam rodriguez Pretty cool, I guess. Uh, he's a cool truck, for sure. Kind of a weird mini school background character to re-release, though. Then we have Kirsten Marshall, one of the Salt Flats racers. This will be his fourth release now since his initial debut in 2023 Singles Case B, I think it was, or was it Case C? One of those first cases of the year. Well, he was released in two two-packs, uh, obviously the single last year, and now a single in 2024. So pretty weird that they're releasing him so much, especially when he already peg worms like crazy. Then we have the Pitstoposaurus, very light little dino car uh, with his little tire stack that looks like a rock. So kind of cool, I guess, but he is very light, like I said. So Mattel likes to manufacture him, obviously, because he's cheaper to make. Then we have one a brand new Cars on the Road release, which is kind of disturbing to see on the Red Riders packaging. But that is Rodette Marker. Very, very cool clown car that shares the same model with Chisaki, Harumi, Suki, and even Squat. From Cars on the Road, who was just released in 2023, late in the year. So pretty cool. Maybe brand new Cars on the Road car so early on. I don't know how many we'll end up getting in 2024 because now it's like not the main focus anymore. It's just kind of integrated into the main line like anything else. So I don't know. I'm sure we'll get like at least over 10 new cars. Uh, well, we definitely will <laughs> after I'm looking at this list that I got here. So that's cool. Uh, but hopefully it's an all right year for Cars on the Road. I hope they don't just abandon it like they did with the Cars tunes. Um, but I don't see any Cars tune releases on this list at all. So that's kind of weird, but whatever. Anyways, that is it for the cars that we have to reveal that are actually in the packaging. Now it's time to talk about the cars that we only have the names for. Starting off with James Clean Air, the Cars 1 Vitaline Racer. Pretty nice to see him back, although he was just once again released in 2020, I think. Or 2019, pretty recently. Then we have Rusty Cornfield, the toe cap racer for Cars 1. He was just released in 2021, but I do like this one. He looks cool. Hopefully they paint his teeth this time around, though, because last time they didn't from Thailand. That was unfortunate. Then we have Mater with Sign. So this guy hasn't been released since 2015. Uh, this is pretty cool, though. I'm sure Thailand will do a great job with him. Mater with Sign appears in the first Cars movie at the Los Angeles race in the end of the movie, of course. Then we have Trainer Cruz Ramirez. Why? I mean, I feel like we just got her released in 2021, but whatever. Then we have Danny Suarez. Now, this is actually a really nice one. He hasn't been released since 2017, if you can believe that. This is obviously the Octane Gain Next Gen. He looks so cool. I love his paint job, and I think Thailand will be able to do an awesome job with him. This will obviously be a new variant. We haven't even seen Danny's artwork before, like on a packaging, so this is pretty cool. Pretty monumental re-release for sure. Uh, then next up, we have Wheel to Lee. So the RSN TV, like, reporter truck kind of guy. He's pretty much Smokey's model, but with, like, an extra piece on the back over his truck bed. So this is pretty cool. He's almost like a van, kind of, but, like, still, like, in the front, he looks like Smokey. I love this guy. Very happy that he's getting re-released again. And then these next three, we have no idea who they could be. We have Justin Roadrider, Tony Motorfelt, and Chris Freitman. 
So I'm going to say that the one named Tony Motorfeld is most likely that big uh, like turbine racer from Cars on the Road on the Salt Flats, that big blue and orange one with like the three ginormous turbine type engines sticking out of his body. I think that's who this is. Uh, they can definitely scale him down and put him in a single like they did with Nile Speedcone. So that's what I think this is, but I have no idea. Hopefully it is him, though. That would be cool. As for the other two, though, I have no idea. Could be from the Trucks episode. Could be Road Rumblers. <laughs> who knows who this could be? Pretty cool, though. Then we have Alien Lightning McQueen. So this is from the Legend episode of Cars on the Road. Pretty cool. I'm assuming it's just going to be a Road Trip McQueen with a removable top piece which is gonna like mimic his alien costume that he wears in the episode to scare off the bigfoot hunters um but i'm kind of surprised we don't have margaret motoray one of the other bigfoot hunters released yet at the die cast hopefully soon though i'm sure we will get her soon then we have deputy hazard lightning mcqueen it doesn't really say but i think this is probably going to end up being the one with all the slime like splattered onto his face but who knows could just be a re-release of the normal deputy hazard mcqueen after that, we have the Ghost Tractor from the Lights Out episode. Everybody's been wanting this one. This is a very cool release for sure. Going to be a nice, simple repaint for Mattel, but it's going to be a very cool new variant for us collectors, so I'm very happy they're releasing this guy now. And then President Mater will also be getting released for next year. This is pretty cool because uh, we already got him as a color changer, already got him as a mini racer. So I'm glad that he's finally getting his 155 scale die cast release. And the last one we have for today, kind of throwing me for a loop. It could end up being a really boring car, but it could end up being a very exciting car too. It says Hydraulic Ramon with Paint Gun. So I'm going to hope that this is the on-the-road version of Ramon, because he does actually appear in the first episode, Dino Park episode of Cars on the Road, when they're still in Radiator Springs, with his new like reddish kind of on-the-road paint job that he has in the show. And he is like hydraulic in his hydraulic mode, lifted off the ground, and he has his paint gun. So I think that this could possibly be on the road Ramon. I don't know what they'll end up calling him. Maybe nothing. Maybe just hydraulic Ramon with paint gun, like it says here. Um, but yeah, this would be pretty cool. Anyways, that is going to be it for our diecast reveals for today. Before you go, though, there are two brand new color changers I want to share with you guys that will be getting released next year. We have Cruising Lightning McQueen, which now changes from red to yellow instead of red to black. So, you know, kind of boring in my opinion. But this one's really cool. To end it all off, DJ. He will be getting a Color Changers released. Been a long time. This is technically just a new variant. He has been released before, but never this color. Before he went from like blue to like a lighter blue, which is pretty lame. Um, but now he goes from blue to this really cool like neon lime type of green color. So this looks cool in my opinion. Can't wait to get them. Um, but let me know what you think of all of these new die casts and the two color changes, of course, as well. I think it's a pretty all right start to the year. I mean, the list of names definitely helps it out a lot. Uh, all the cards that we got revealed in the package so far aren't too exciting. But at the same time, it could be worse. They're not too bad. I'm very shocked that we have nothing from Cars 2 and Cars Tunes, especially Cars 2. Like, not even one World Grand Prix racer. I don't know. I spell something fishy going on. Hopefully we end up getting some sooner or later. I'm sure they won't just like leave it out completely from the whole main line. I find that hard to believe. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Let me know what you think of the year so far. What we got revealed. Is it good? Is it bad? It's just alright to me. Nothing is really blowing me away. But there's a few cool new ones of course. As we talked about. Anyways though. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time on the Cars Garage. Yeah.